did Nikola Tesla really intercept intelligent radio signals from outside of this earth? Wait to hear this. In a letter to the American Red Cross in the year 1900, Nikola Tesla wrote about his conviction that people would one day look to the sky with feelings of love and reverence, thrilled to hear a message from another world. Tesla also described observing electrical actions that seemed inexplicable but gave him a deep conviction and foreknowledge. Tesla was asked by the American Red Cross to predict man's greatest possible achievements over the next century. This letter, in his reply dated Christmas 1900, to the American Red Cross, New York City. The retrospect is glorious, the prospect is inspiring. Might much be said of both, but one idea dominates my mind. This, my best, my dearest, is for your noble cause. I have observed electrical actions which have appeared inexplicable. Faint and uncertain though they were, they have given me a deep conviction and foreknowledge that, ere long after human beings on this globe as one will turn their eyes to the firmament above with feelings of love and reverence. Thrilled by the glad news, brethren, we have a message from another world. Unknown and remote, it reads, one, two, three, Christmas 1900, Nikola Tesla. What did Nikola Tesla mean about a message from above that reads one, two, three? In numerology, one, two, three is associated with the progress and the Holy Trinity, and may be called the Trinity of Progress or the Triad of Progress. Nikola Tesla made several claims about receiving radio signals of planetary origin, which he believed came from the planet Mars. In 1899, while conducting radio experiments in Colorado Springs, Tesla detected unusual signals that he described as regular and repetitive. He initially thought that these signals could not have been produced on the planet Earth. And Tesla said about these signals in 1899, he said, I could not decipher their meaning. It was impossible for me to think of them as having been entirely accidental. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I had been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. Isn't that astonishing? Tesla believed that these signals were of planetary origin. By 1901, he expressed his conviction that the disturbances he observed were not from the Moon, not from the Sun or Venus, and he considered the possibility that they were emanating from the planet Mars. He made several public statements about his belief in the extraterrestrial origin of these signals. By 1907, he had stated that after mature thought and study, he had concluded that the signals must be coming from Mars. Tesla's claims captured public imagination and media attention. However, they did not gain much serious interest from the scientific community at the time. Tesla became shunned. Tesla's fascination with the possibility of communicating with other planets highlights his visionary thinking. In 1922, Tesla gave an interview and he reflects on his discovery 22 years earlier. He says, 22 years ago, while experimenting in Colorado Springs with a wireless power plant, I obtained extraordinary experimental evidence of the existence of life on the planet Mars. I had perfected a wireless receiver of extraordinary sensitiveness, far beyond anything known, and I caught signals which I interpreted as meaning one, two, three. I believe the Martians used numbers for communication because numbers are universal. Again in 1935, in an interview, Tesla says, in 1899, while I was experimenting with a wireless receiver of extraordinary sensitivity, I detected faint signals from the planet Mars, our brother planet. I could not interpret the signals at the time, but they seemed to suggest a numerical code. One, two, three.